Angry people tend to be the loudest people. Happy Thursday, everybody. It's P. Tony, your friendly Catholic vlogger. Forgive the more informal atmosphere. I'm sick today. Also, it's my birthday, so... So, so there. Gonna be a little more casual. I spent a lot of time on Twitter, and Twitter has been a storm of a lot of people angry about the sex scandals. I haven't worked the nerve up yet to read the documents detailing everything that's happened. I've gotten some secondhand reactions from from other people who have. And a couple of thoughts that are probably not helpful to many people, but that I just am processing in my own mind. Uh, it's strange because I'm very non-confrontational and uh, it bugs me when when people speak in a confrontational way, people speak in an accusatory way. I have an instinctive, <sighs> repulsive reaction to such language. A lot of people that I have a great amount of respect for have been using this sort of language because of the sex scandals. That's been a strange experience for me because, you know, I respect their opinions and also they're using language that I usually hate, but you know, this is extraordinary circumstances, so maybe it's appropriate. Some of the most viral content that's spreading around Twitter these days and other social media, I'm sure, is a lot of angry and a lot of contrition. It's outcry, a sense of this is very not okay and something needs to be done. And as Catholics, we owe apologies to the victims. And of course, I agree with all of that. Also in the midst of all this, I wanna advocate for, for making space for personal health um, and perspective. Once upon a time, a priest that I appreciated a lot as a fantastic confessor in my life left the priesthood. That was a hard moment for me. And it was a hard moment for other people in, in my community uh, because a lot of people saw him as a very good confessor. And I expect a lot of people can empathize with that uh, when people that we look up to and that we depend on renege on principles that we admired them for. It hurts. It hurts a lot. We can draw that similarity between this priest who left the priesthood and these sex abuse scandals. But there are a couple differences between these two stories and one that I want to highlight is that this scandal that I experienced in my life, this trauma that I experienced in my life, was very contained. It was something that affected our local community but it didn't go viral, it didn't hit the internet and cause a big stir. It caused hurt in the region that was affected. Now with media and the way the world is structured today, there, there's kind of this double-edged storm of we can be aware of a lot more that's going on in the world, which is good because that means we can address more issues, but it also means that I can look across the country and take 300 of the most tragic stories from the past 50, 60 years, and I can bring them into my personal life. A question I need to ask myself is, am I built mentally, emotionally, to be able to process that kind of information? those kinds of stories all at once. People have been overwhelmingly angry and that's because this is an overwhelming amount of horrible news. I'm not any sort of church authority. I'm just a Catholic that <laughs> makes videos for my bedroom. And I think that this news hits different people in different ways. There's gonna be some people that feel intense anger, that feel intense heartbrokenness, that put up a lot of walls and just want to avoid thinking about it. That experience some crazy mix of all of those things and other things too. I'm a little bit hesitant to make a judgment about what should happen next. I don't think that that's my place to decide. This video is perhaps mostly for myself as I process these things a little bit, but for you, my dear viewers, I, I mean, I pray for you every day. If this has been something that has been weighing on you in any way, I just want you to know that you should have room to feel whatever you're feeling. If you feel angry, like, I think that makes sense. If you feel confused, I think that makes sense. If you feel just about anything within reason, I suppose, I think that makes sense. This isn't the apocalypse, this is a dark chapter. The church is much older than the past 30, 50, 60 years. The church is much larger than America, and Jesus is larger than any sin. Of course, there's so much more to say about all this, I don't know exactly what should be said, but I send you my prayers and I ask you to pray for me, for the church, and for <laughs> um, for the victims especially of the sex abuse. God bless and ciao.